Saturday, yeah. So it's Saturday, November the 13th, two, 2010. And I'm, we're in conversation with Pam here, and we're going to talk about a few things. And this would be the first question. Pam, could you say a few things about how you see the differences in what the message that was being conveyed to the 60s group, the original group, for headquarters and what is being conveyed to this headquarters five group? I'm trying to interpret how this particular group will be able to work as as the nucleus the um, What I want to say is the nucleus um, negative part. We have three individuals in Estes Park who are doing the positive nucleus. And they are aligned with the avatar of synthesis and this is their alignment. They are not aligned out yet. And what we need to do is to become the negative nucleus, because that's where I was when I was in that particular group. I was throat center, out in humanity, and I was part of the nucleus, but the negative part. So this is a magnetic field between the positive and the neg negative nucleus. So the negative nucleus is, in a lot, is connected to the positive nucleus, which is connected through to the avatar. So synthesis. far, the avatar of synthesis, the Estes Park th triangle, is aligned with the avatar yeah. of synthesis. Now, what are we, as a group, going to do about it? We need to understand that first of all, I think this group is the first one who has taken the teaching and run with it. We want to do something with it. And the other four headquarters groups have not taken the responsibility to do anything about it. And here we are. So, so far I've said, now the positive nucleus is in Estes Park, we, in this group, Headquarters 5 group, are the negative nucleus. Yes. Now, Master R is trying to get us to understand what each of the petals are. And according to the series, he only touched upon two. And these were the people who actually lived in Estes Park. We don't have any petals in Estes Park. So it's my belief that we could organize all of the headquarters, the people who have taken the series, and each one can decide if they are a negative nucleus or if they are a petal for working with the government or if they are and that would be first rate. Yeah. Under Master M. Right. But part of the, the, the three masters. And then the second ray would be um, education, healing, and science. To me, healing and science could be the third and the fourth petal. But we as a group oh. have to come together and decide how we're going to manifest the synthesis center because it hasn't been manifested yet. Right, so bring it into appearance in concrete form. 
So what I'm suggesting is each one decide what they are, and as we go through this series, you can see what the what Master R has given as what this particular group is, and we have as a group all been will be um, negative nucleus or petal one or petal two because he takes in the meditation he he says now the nucleus does this the first petal does this the second petal does this so we can all visualize ourselves as taking those particular functions right so that we know what each one of those other ones are doing and still we can decide then for ourselves what we initially would like to be, and we need to organize. Right. So let me just clarify something. So I, when I align, I align to the, the positive nucleus of Estes Park and the through them through the avatar of synthesis. No? No. I just go... Aligned to the, to the to the positive nucleus. If now here we are as uh, we haven't gone yet into the, the petals, so we're at this point we're all negative nucleus. We're the magnetic field, so we align to Estes Park to that triangle. Okay. They're aligned with the avatar. Well, so they hold that alignment. This is all they do. They do not project it out. Right. So we are the ones who have to have the responsibility now of taking it from the negative out in humanity into a petal distribution. Right. So that's actually bringing it in and, and putting it into, into the world. So now, as negative nucleus, we're stepping it down to the petals. Right. So then the petals function is simply to extend it into humanity. Specifically. Specifically. There is, so it's, it's work. It's, well, it's more objective work rather than subjective. Mm -hmm. Is that a way to say it? It's objective because it's subjective, but they are actually... Now, projecting the energy of synthesis because it's been stepped down into humanity, into some specific area, like the President of the United States, or the UN, and yeah. so on. And I think if we can get three people to be a triangle for the first nucleus, which would be government, then we could advertise for more people who had taken the headquarters series to join those three and then work together okay. as, a, as a, a group. Right. And what are they going to work on? Whatever happens in the world that needs the attention now. Right. Okay. So then how do you see this taking place or as a headquarters five group? Are we ready to take on these functions yet, or do we still need a little bit more training? There are only a few more lessons, and we need to wait until we have had the lessons of the nucleus and the petals before we can do this. But this is what we need to keep in mind because there is an overshadowing of what can happen once we get going and get this synthesis energy going, in the overshadowing, we have to intuit what we do with this. And this is only my, my way of trying to explain how we now can work with this compared to what it was 60, in the 60s. Okay, so then... If I summed it up by saying that the 60s group performed their function, now we have a different function to perform, and ours is at this point to intuit the overshadowing as a group 
and then bring it into uh, bring it into the world mm -hmm. as concrete action mm -hmm. yes. and, that, and that concrete action looks like we have to intuit what that looks like yes. you can't tell us because you're doing no. it too no I can't we're, I don't know how it's going to appear so we're all working together as a group in that, you included, so you're not separate from that. So you have two roles. You have a, you're a teacher role to teaching the Headquarters 5 some of the basic principles. And then you also have a, a role as a member of the group to yes. help intuit and bring into function. Is that correct? Yes. No. Do you want to say a little bit more about how the petals and the and the nucleus works? I think that I should wait until we have that lesson. Okay. So that we can each perform that particular function. Yeah. So in in the end, though, after we get as we're progressing through this these lessons, we eventually will identify whether. I'll identify if I'm nucleus or I'm petal, and that'll be a known. I'll know that clearly. Yes. It's what you have been incarnated for. You have a, a very special passion for something, right. some type of service. So then in, in my situation, just using it as an example, I think my pedal, I'm a pedal, and my function is to bring forward into humanity some piece of the of the creative nature of our own health mm -hmm. in so the physical in instrument. Healing. So it, it's an educational and a healing kind of mixture, mm -hmm. and science really. It's mm -hmm. So that would be a, so just as an example, that would be a pedal function. Yes. It's got nothing to do with a, uh, the nucleus, but it is has to do with the nucleus insofar as what I do is through that I use that nucleus mm -hmm. as my source of sustenance mm -hmm. like a petal and a flower mm -hmm. the petals required by the energy of the flower to mm -hmm. sustain it so it mm -hmm. takes its energy from there is it something like that yes now each individual will have their own alignment to their soul to the ashram to the avatar the Christ but we're not actually bringing the nucleus energy in at Estes Park. We're not there, so we cannot do that. If someone wanted to move there and become part of that, they could decide whether they were nucleus oh, or okay. pedal. It, a positive nucleus, part of that Estes Park group, but you have to live there in order to be there. So right. we're out in humanity. Right. And how are we going to proceed? That's the question. So then if I if I ended up being drawn to Estes Park, I could still be a pedal function there. Yes. And it would be drawing that positive nucleus energy rather than No, you you would still be No, you wouldn't you would not be part of the the positive nucleus, you would be a petal within Estes Park. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. But I wouldn't be the negative nucleus you anymore. Would? No. You would be working f with all of this headquarters group that, that okay, is Okay. And that's the negative nucleus. Positive. Yeah. The negative nucleus. Okay. I get you. So there's a, so the positive nucleus is at Estes Park. That's, it's only there. Yes. And any of the groups any of the other groups, the headquarters groups, are negative nucleus to that. Mm -hmm. And then they can create petals that mm -hmm. do that work. Mm -hmm. So each is a particular function. Right. And Master R is trying to explain to us what each one of those is. Right. Okay, so then uh, headquarters five... So the way you see it is that at Headquarters 5 will eventually draw in some of the other Headquarters groups to, uh, to perform, a, to start to do some specific work. Yes. Because in your opinion, it's time to start doing some work. Yes. 
that because uh, it has not been done since yeah. 1960s. And you haven't seen a group yet that is that has shown the impetus to get things going until this group. That's right. Okay, well that that should be fairly clear. Um, is there anything else you want to say about that? Just remember that each one has their own alignment with with their own higher alignment that right. we've had all this time. You meditate, you do anything that is natural for you for this alignment. Yeah. But your source for the synthesis energy is coming from Estes Park. Right. So that's like a, the reservoir. It's it's the channel for the the high, high, high avatar of synthesis, and then each step, each function, steps it down yeah. for humanities to a specific. Right, so that, that they hold a reservoir, they create a reservoir there at Estes Park that anybody that has any service around the world can tap into. Yes. That's what their function is. Yes. Okay, I understand that. Um, do you want to say anything more about the group's ability, well, the dual role that you play within the group, and that uh, that you can't say what anybody needs to do because we have to intuit that from our own overshadowing? Yeah, you already said it. I'm just a, a facilitator. I was in that group, so I can give the perspective of that 1960s area. But what we do now, I'm part of this group that has to decide, are we going to organize and get busy and go to work, or are we just going to let it go, fall flat again? Right. So then it's, it, it's, it's a time to, within this period of time because not exactly right now because we still need a few more lessons yeah because we're all chomping at the bit to yeah. get going here and and so part of you is saying well hang on a little bit because you need a little more uh, teaching but at the same time there's some work to do and we will need to decide that and above all ask questions right because i i can't just pick something out of the air because you have the question this this draws through me whatever is available to you through me so by all means ask questions right and and engaging is this is this correct because my impression is that as a group we have to start to interact with each other yeah so that we uh, begin to develop a method of intuiting as a group mm -hmm. and asking each other and dialoguing with each other not just simply going to you and asking you as an authority what the what the answer yeah, is because it's in the overshadowing yeah so we have to learn how to intuit that yeah. that's part of the process is yes, that that's correct? correct that's where the expansion comes in and that's where the energy they will not release the energy specifically for this group until we start using it right as a group as a group yeah and that's new <laughs> it is and it's asking for something that we have no knowledge of it's way above our mental capacity yeah but it's abstract so each one of us has a part of that abstract in our being because we are soul. We are soul and we are group in the, in the over, show, over soul. So we need to rely on that rather than what we already know because that doesn't help. It's how we bring this stuff in that makes it work. All right, so it releases the energy for our work. <coughs> so let me get this straight. So there's a tendency that we all have to just continue to talk about stuff that we already know. Yeah. And that's not what the process is. The process is intuiting what we don't know that's new. 
Yes. And each part of us, everyone in the group, has their own particular thread that once it gets displayed, the, other, the rest of the group see it and then it expands the thought into a greater understanding of something that none of us know about. Mm -hmm. But we all, it's kind of like everybody has a word in a sentence. There's a sentence that to be said right. and the group can all say the sentence, yep. but every, only one person has one word. Something That's like true. that. That's so true. then it's a coherent thought of a group nature. And that's the group. So is that is that uh, what a group diva is? That a, it, is that a group we're, mental we're build, body? We're building a group diva. And so the group diva would take the take directions from the group mind. Like the whole group, not any individual in the group. Is that is that right? Let's say that what's in overshadowing for each one of these concepts that he's giving us in the in the in the lesson material is a diva, and we need to meditate on what is in overshadowing, not what we already know, not how to compare what we already know. This is already done. Right. So, we name, I would say that's a deva. That, in each lesson, is a deva. It's overshadowing okay. the whole group. So, that's the deva. Now, we are building a, a group deva that can actually build an alignment to that overshadowing and bring that in. So this is the alignment that we need. There's the positive, we're the negative still. But we still have to bring it down. Right. And into our, um, how we work. And the only way you can do that is as a group. With the group interacting mm -hmm. as, as one. Mm -hmm. Is that? So if there's a question, anybody should be able to answer. I can answer from the from the 1960s, from my position with that. But now, each one of us is part of this group that is consolidating into a working unit, right. a, a group function. Yeah. And that's, a, that's quite a distinction because we have some a different job to do in the lessons. Mm -hmm. And meditation is the whole key to it. Group meditation. Right. Aspiring to what's in overshadowing and bringing it in, and then each one explaining what they received. If they didn't receive anything, that's fine. Yeah. But it's going to grow and grow and grow. We only have a week for each one of these lessons, so we need to really focus on what's in overshadowing, not what we see on the paper. Okay, so then, the, so what I hear you saying is of the importance of, as a group, interacting with questions and answers. Yes. Because even if, even if the, there isn't any actual answer, there's a formulation of, it's a process mm -hmm. of question and answers, because the answer starts to develop more questions, and it starts to expand the group. And the intuition starts working, and you start working on a higher level. Right. So then, because I, I know that quite often the question comes up that I don't people don't want to have too long of posts, and the time that's spent, um, they're concerned about the time that's spent for people in the group to read them. So can you speak a little bit about the that that concern? How do you see that? Is it relevant, or what is the relevance to it? It's how you feel about posting. If it's up to each individual. Because some if, people if have... somebody goes too long on something, why well, we're going to slow them down and say wait until we get the next lesson. 
or if you jump ahead too far, I'll say wait until he explains it. He can explain it a lot better than I can, and this is part of the learning process. Yeah. So would you say uh, take the take the restraints off? Ask all the questions that you that you have. That's that you have intuited. That's as, relevant. That you have, in, and that's that's the that's I guess discernment to decide what is relevant for the group as a whole, and what isn't. Mm -hmm. Is that what? Yeah. And so then once you've has it to do with the concept that's overshadowing. Yeah. If you feel like it's intuited. But if you have questions, ask them. I can. Yeah. Sometimes I can't answer them. Maybe I can get a get somebody to find a, an answer for you. So sometimes there's an answer, and sometimes there's not. And I don't have not. to answer all these questions. Somebody else knows just as much about it as I do. Yeah. So then part of that was, part of those questions and answers, some of the questions are, I'll say, more factual and they have a definite answer. Others are just the building process of a group uh, thinking process. Mm -hmm. It's a group think. Mm -hmm. And that's new. And we're learning how to do that as a group. That's right. And that's one of the differences between the function of the 60s and the function of our group, specifically Headquarters 5. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. You got it. Okay, I think that might help. Uh, hopefully everybody can get this flip video. And, and if not, uh, they'll say that they didn't get it. Is there anything else that you have in mind that you want to say? No, that was the main thing that I want to get across, that how are we going to work in the future? Uh, and uh, we have to start thinking about it. Right. What we're going to do with this, once we have, the, have completed the series, what are we going to do with it? Right. And how are we going to work? Right. So, well, I have another question if that... Uh, do you think that from the headquarters group in the 60s, when you were all face-to-face -face interacting and having all of the persona clashes, do you think that the, did you actually develop the online version to prevent those personality no. clashes? No, not at all. It just worked out like that? I didn't have any physical people. Yeah. I advertised, I did everything I could. I. I uh, had a series at the senior center, which was okay. Thirty people showed up, and once they found out what it was, why well, I only had two left. Yeah. And then they started a new group, but I didn't have any physical people to work with. I went to Findhorn, and uh, I was asked to teach, and I didn't know how to, to go online. I was very... Yeah. Anyway, they helped me. The, the two people at Pinthorn who wanted to join in the, in the class, they helped me to start the group. And from there, it developed until, gosh, I've got a whole bunch of them now. Yeah. So it just naturally... Because it appears that the online version reduces a whole lot of persona clashes because we don't actually, some of us has actually never even met. Yeah. So it allows for the transferring of thoughts without that. The people in the 60s in Estes Park, there might have been 20 people who were living very close together. In fact, they were in a lodge and all of them lived in the same, under the same roof. 20. And you can imagine kids, adults, Everybody was having, criticizing everybody else. And that's why so much of this was for them. Right. And we don't want to hear about all their problems. That was way in the past. We don't have any problems in this, in this group. Yeah. Or any group online. Yeah. It just developed that I was ready to teach online and I had a group forming. Right. Instead of a group, a personal group meeting here. Yeah. In your opinion, do you think that there would be a, there will be another uh, Lucy?
Lucille show up, or do you think it'll be that we'll be doing that work? We we'll have to be doing it. We will. We will be doing it. Yes. Yeah. So there, it won't be using one station, so to speak. It'll be using, like we're learning how to intuit and and interact as a group. That's right. We're we're becoming a group station. A group station. We don't, we don't need a station. We have all this material yeah. that she brought through. We don't need a station to bring more stuff through. We have to start using what we've already been given. Right. And you... And this is the perfect opportunity to do it. Yeah. And I know that there's, this is one of the things that you wanted to stress, was, so I'm going to repeat it, is that you can't tell anybody what to do. Oh, no. Neither could she. Neither yeah. could Master R. Yeah. When he, when uh, he, when they started to do, to do the pedals, he asked three people if they were willing to do it. And that was the first pedal. And they asked three to do the second one. Now the first one was okay. They had three people who would do it. But the second pedal, they never got that far. They had only two, and the third one that they asked, he was living in Denver and was going to school or had a job or something, and he couldn't do it. So you see, that's all, that's all the farther they got yeah. with assigning pedals. Okay, so then... So we have to assign ourselves. Yeah, so do you, I got a question about why do you... Th if you have any ideas about why the gap was it humanity starting to come into up to it up in frequency as a whole so that at this point now it's time and that's why this group got attracted together is that humanity has lifted it up do you get any ideas about that i think that we all got together so that we could help humanity. Humanity is going along just as it is, but we had to get together as a group in order to accomplish something. Yeah. And I think we've all been together in many incarnations, and now it's time to go to work in the appearance. Yeah. So then, uh, getting back to the pedals, it, you need three. You need a triangle for triangle. to establish a pedal. Yeah. I'm just thinking that Starshine seems to be, in our group, Stars, she's interested in the government aspect of it. Absolutely. But she would need two other people mm -hmm. in interested in the government aspect. And those two people would need to be come from this group. No. No? Not necessarily. Would they even need to know about esoteric uh, work at all? Yes. They would need to have been in the headquarters group. Oh, okay, so then she could draw them from one of the other headquarters groups that's already completed mm -hmm. it. And when, and then, so using her as an example, would she have to wait until she's completed the this course? I think so. She can do what she wants to now with what she has already been uh, taught and go ahead and do what she wants to if she wants to be a pedal or whatever. But you, it's but, your choice. So then, okay, so I'm just trying to get the idea of the, the triangle and the pedal. So that means for my work, I continue doing my work, but at some point, I need to take, get two other people to form a triangle and be a pedal in that. Because I can't be a pedal on myself, by myself. Right. Is that the idea? That, that's apparently what the Master R was saying. That then there needs to be a triangle for each one of the pedals. Well, that but makes... where do these triangles come from? Exactly. And That's those... part of the group choice. And the reason why they have to come from headquarters is because headquarters has the consciousness to be able to draw in certain energies of synthesis. Yeah. They've had the teaching of the, of the headquarters series. Right. So that they are of that consciousness so that they know the difference between each one of these phases, these functions. Okay. So then I can continue doing my own work, which is my service work, 
but as far as a pedal function goes, I need to get into a group activity because that's what seems to differentiate it is that there's a single activity, but that a pedal is a group, and that's the group synthesis, mm -hmm. which is a different, which is what it appears the whole thing is about. It's about group activity rather than individual mm -hmm. activity. Is that say what there was a tsunami or avalanches or something like this? The healing people would be the ones who would focus on that along with your own service but the triangle then w and the people who were inter attracted to that triangle would actually form in meditation and work with that particular problem right so that would be a, a more on a subjective level oh yeah and then but there is objective work and that's primarily what the pedal's function is, is getting it out. It's getting it down to where it can be accepted by humanity. So then the, the, pedal, stepping down. the pedal function steps down the energy. They draw it in from the nucleus. They mm -hmm. step it down. And then that's where it interfaces with humanity. Yeah. That's the interface. Yeah. So then that's how... And that's how hierarchy externalizes, mm -hmm. is through that stepping down process. Mm -hmm. And this is primarily designed as a group focus. Yes. Not an individual one, but a group. And that's the, that's the new synthetic energy. Yes. Is that? Correct. So we have to learn how to work as a group. That's the whole, that seems to be a key, key point. Mm-hmm. And once we start doing this, bringing the abstract into the group and then projecting whatever we have to do with what we've received, then they can open the channel and br bring more energy in. Then they can... They can't they, do it until we're of that state of consciousness. And when you say, when you say they, you're talking about the... Masters. The three masters, yes. M, D, K, and R. Mm -hmm. They're ability to let this let loose with this energy is in our ability to receive it mm -hmm. and they haven't been able to release the full extent of the synthesis energy because they have not had the instruments to take care take it into humanity and a group instrument because mm -hmm. it's a group instrument that's yeah. the newness of it and that's why they say a triangle right and that's the difference between working with one of the masters in an ashram as opposed to another ashram individually. Synthesizing the three, the triangles, always the triangles, all and the way down. All the way down, right? <coughs> yeah, okay. I'm really starting to get clear about how the distinction between the group and we have to intuit as a group mm -hmm. and work as a group. Mm -hmm. No longer none of this independent I'll go and just do it. Hmm. But at the same time, I'm just getting back to what I know, and that's I still have a function to perform with my service, but I need to learn it. I'm realizing I need to learn how to work that as a group, mm -hmm. too. Yeah, the synthesis energy will flow right through you into your own sp special service. Right. But also, you're going to be working with humanity, so for it's, humanity. So it's not one or the other, it's, it's all it's of it. It's all. Yeah. Okay, that's, that, that, hopefully that clears up. Were there some other questions that we needed to look well, at? I think you had them on the, on the computer, but it looks like it shut off. Oh, no, just tap, tap the key. Oh, no, I have to do this. Let's see if there's any more questions. I don't know how much longer we've got on the tape either, but you can turn it off until we decide. Oh, here it is, right here. Let's see, can you read how many, what number is on there? 30, 39, 42. Okay, so that's 40 minutes.